Welcome into the stream, everybody. We are live with round four of the January Ancients tournaments, and there are only five rounds, so this is kind of the penultimate one before the top eight cut. Currently 2-0-1 and oh and one after a tie last time around, and my opponent this time is Wampa Meat, a.k.a. Iceman. Welcome into the stream. How are you doing? Doing well. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. Yeah, thanks for being on. We have Sekar, the Deverinian Mercenary. Uh, as Gracchus would like to say, definitely not a dev, uh, just only straight up Merc. May only start the game with good devs and Mercs. Zant Prime is starting off with a sub. Thank you. Uh, if he's your warlord, your good characters suffer no loyalty penalty, and your evil characters interplay as if they were one level higher. Sekar may begin the game with any one rogue item of level 8 or less equipped. So that's why you see the Altus Cloak off to the side. So Sakar gets to start with that. I'm running Alisara. Thank you, Gracchus, for cheering bits, but I think we're good to get started. I think so. All right, good luck. You too. Starting off with an eight. <clears throat> Ten. Oh, let's start with some aggression. Uh... Fire on Pride Fiend. Okay. DC 13. That's, That's a good roll. Yeah, especially for a brine, all things considered. Let's see here. Let's have Alisara play Bribe. Any reacts? Nope. Or do I have to show? Okay. We'll also react with two summon allies. <laughs> to get a terror shard. Hooray. <laughs> that is uh there's one big hand dump. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Normally, I like to have more characters than just one guy at a lower level, but got to work with what we have. <laughs> yeah, the item destruction could pr prove meaningful. Um, all right, we'll go fire on same Brian Fee. All right, let's see if he still got it. He does not. Hmm. I guess we'll swing on. Let's see, remove a character in your discard pile. Okay. Yeah, let's go on a fire. Uh huh. No, it would have got Kale. Oh well. Kale, swing on the wounded brain fiend. You got it. Ah. Uh, a lot of a lot of whips today. Yeah, apparently. The Riot spend order. Give my Brian's plus two attack. Mm -hmm. I will bring Ravika into play. Ravika, a swing on a fire. Uh huh. There we Use go. That magic sticks. Then we'll step up. Let's go on another fire. Mm -hmm. No. Pilja. Uh, Filgia. Let's use Alisara's order. Okay. Can't quite get Supremacy into play yet. <laughs> A little bit short there. So I think we get night scale. Seems good. Wonder Edge. Let's order night scale forward. Terror shardfall. Okay. Let's 
Oh, uh, we have a bot in the chat. Get out of here. Soldier will stun to the front. Okay. We'll order Terra Shard forward a rank. Uh huh. Wonder Etch will similarly stun him to the second. I think we'll spend uh, Night Scale up to three. Let's go Wrath on that Wounded Brain. For it. Got him. Let's have Wisp come up. Okay. I think I will pass. Bring the car up and push the wander edge. Okay. You pass again. I will also pass. Discard one, hold the other. <clears throat> you got it. All right. Let's order Night Scale forward. Uh huh. I'm going to have Bilja take a pot shot at Terra Shard. Sure. Plus six. Nope. Terra Shard's <laughs> coming up. Yep. Fourteen skill. He's pretty smart. Yeah. You could try the DC 13. <laughs> nah, I'm going to try the DC-20. I'm going to threaten in. DC-20 or spend. All right. Got it. it. I need not a one. I get to ready. All right. So what's your skill looking like right now? You are at plus eight. Plus ten. I'm a 19 okay. skill. Got it. Cute. You're at 15 AC. 18 AC, because hmm. I get one for rank. Oh, right, right, right. Yes. Okay. Let's use Alasar's order. I have Torn. You do have a Torn. Oops. Come on. Shuffle. Uh, there we go. Actually, hold on to that. Um, sure.
Yeah. We're going to go Wrath on Terror Shard. We're going to get lucky here. 19 or better. Level Not two. quite. The other end of the 95%. <coughs> Let's react with a couple things to play a dragon. Yep. Uh, all right, DC 13 on Willow Wisp. See if you can roll it too. No. Ooh, not quite. Let's go living history. Um, we'll have Kale swing at a Brian Fiend. Okay. Wow. <sighs> Let's order Asherine forward. Thanks, Untap. <laughs> and you even pay Untap. Yeah. All right. Well, now let's put the Torn out. Now that we've had zero effect on the board. Spindalis are back. Uh huh. I will pass. Spend order with Blight. Swing with Brian. Uh huh. On your warlord, obviously. Uh, let's see, eighteen. Yeah, go for it. Uh, of course. Brian. Uh, yeah, I'll pass. Let's go, Brian on Sakar. Did Brian yeah, get it. lucky again? Okay. Yeah. Oh, no. not quite. Pass. Hmm. Let's see. I think we'll have Terror Shard Swing, see if you can roll a 1 on Stealth. You got it. Nope. Second Strike. Hang on. Yeah. Uh... Mm -mm -mm. Yeah. Second Strike also at Sakar? Yes. Okay. I'm going to anticipate that Second Strike. And I'm going to assassinate for two wounds. You got it. And then I'll stealth. Yep. Got it. Third strike. I think we got to go for Scar. Yep. That's a success. Shoot. That's my third stealth. Yep. Scar will swing for Terror Shard. Yeah. And assassinate. We'll severed that off of uh, Alisar. Okay. So he is one hit point. Yep. Um, so then we'll take second swing. Let's go for Riyadh. Okay. Nope. <clears throat> Let's go night scale on Sakar. Yep. Stealth. And again. All right. That's five. It is. Got any surprises? Don't think so. You pass? What are you thinking? Um. Oh, let's bring Ravika forward. Okay. I think I will pass. I will pass. Mm -hmm. 
13. Ooh. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Yeah. I'm going to threaten your living history. Okay. Did he actually get that? What's, no, oh, no, he only had zero. Okay. okay. Yep. So he is spent, and you are ready. I'm ready. Let's uh, spend order to Asherain you. Sure. Uh, four, right? Yeah. Four DC twenty threes. Yeah, I need. I really wanted one more character there. Fifteen skills, nice, <laughs> but I'm rolling too many sixes. Yeah, there's one. <laughs> All right, we're gonna flip a coin because I have a feeling I'm gonna get a lot of sixes if I don't. Uh, that's what I need. Let's keep rolling that. Nope. Ooh, there it is. Uh, yeah, that terror shard Ashrain combo was very good because my other play for winning initiative was Halo. Oh, yep. But I was, I was wondering, I was surprised you didn't terror shard the uh, Altus cloak away. Oh, Last turn. honestly, yeah. That I, I forgot about the spend order. You're totally right, and I was surprised you didn't uh, Ravika when the Brine Fiend hit you. So I guess we're even. I was holding the double assassinate to anticipate. Ah, uh, gotcha. Okay. Because I knew I'd get you for two on my on my response, and then for two when I swung. So. I needed all three cards that I had to to kill Terror Shard. Yeah, um, no, I, I get I'm that. I'm not I'd... sure. Um, but anyway, uh, let me use Revika now that I've failed to save. <laughs> yeah. And pit Halo and go yep. on to save number four. Yeah. And still. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> wow, oh two sixes gosh. and a three. <laughs> wow. Yeah, well, at least I don't feel like I'm dumb and scooped when I still had a chance. <laughs> True. Yeah, I would have felt pretty dumb if I uh, forgot to Terror Shard, which I did forget to Terror Shard the Altus' yeah. cloak, but uh, then lost well, after that. Now I'm sorry I mentioned it. Because, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my, I, I, I was like, okay, I've got Threaten, and I'll have 15 skill against Asherine. Chat is also um, noting Ravika can only heal strikes, uh, for what it's worth. Oh, that's right. I always forget that. I'm terrible about that. Um, wall of text. Um, it's okay. We both made a couple mistakes. We'll see if we can fix those going into game two. Yeah. But yeah, that so was... if I had Haloed, you probably would have just swung with Terror Shard. Yeah, or yeah, maybe would I would have realized. To Ash Rain. Mm -hmm. Assuming I didn't roll a one. Yeah, on honestly. Me. Yeah, having a... Yeah. Uh... Having a level seven dragon sitting there next to LSR is always nice. Yeah. Yeah, no, that was a that was the perfect one two combo. Uh because I needed <laughs> to get away from Terra Shard, but the only way to get away from him was to get close to Ashram. That was the idea. Yep. So just uh just needed those rolls. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes you get them, sometimes you don't. That's what you get playing a uh, RNG game. All right. Well, you. Start with some aggression. Why would you do that? Fire on red. Oh, so close. Let's go on fire. Uh huh. Uh, the ready one, obviously. Yep. You can get them. Wrath on different Brian Fiend. You got it. Got a wound. Play a Torin. Have Kale go on the ready wounded. Yep. <clears throat> got him. We'll go Torin back. Mm hmm. I will play Philja. Let's torn. Yep. <clears> hmm. <throat> what do we want to do? That. 
Oh, you. Um, let's do black steel daggers, which is really what I needed last game. <laughs> that would have helped out, yeah. Let's go wand of negation on Alisara. Oh, dirty pool. <laughs> Yeah, but now you have two items I want to get rid of. <laughs> so it'll just kind of depend. Yeah, and I was realizing as I loaded up the game that I had not swapped the uh, the dagger to my, my cool custom version. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because I got the anticipate assassinate combo on, yeah. uh, on our tech. Yeah, that alt art uh, for the daggers does look really cool. All right, what's the play here? Let's play a red fang. Okay. We'll turn back. Push Dolja. Full tree walk. That is definitely a move. Sadly, I think I'm going to pass. Let's Alisara. Okay. A Shadow Blaze. I will pass. Let's go on your fire. Yep. No. no. Pass. Swing on fire. Uh -huh. That'll get him. Fills you up. And we'll go on fill you. Yeah. Nope. Not white. Pass again. Send Shadow Blaze up. Mm hmm. Still passing? Yeah. All right. Spend Will-O-Wisp back. I need better opening hands. <laughs> um, we'll Wand of Negate your Altus Cloak, and I will pass. Yeah. Pretty good. All right. Oh, nice. Okay. Got a ten, and you just stick with the nineteens. So that that works. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Bill's <laughs> just gonna shoot Riyadh. Yep. Does not get him, but he's spent. Yep. All right, what is the play here? Let's think about some things. I think we tore in. Since you just took okay. my druid offline, we'll pitch a tree walk. <laughs> Let's see what's here. Okay, so we use that for that purpose. Do that. 
that and that. Or we could use that for that. Play that, that, and that. I think that sounds more fun. Okay. We're going to go Wrath on Dreadfang. Okay. Got him. I'll get him, yeah. Sure. Rise and obey. Yep. Let's go find Ebon Scourge and get him to hand. You got it. Wonder Edge. Sure thing. Hey, Ebon Scourge. No surprise there. Wandering Scroll. Ah. Let's go ahead and order Shadow Blaze up. Mm hmm. Another Wander Edge. Okay. Got a Vertigris here. Stun this bad boy to the front. Okay. Bigger dragon? There's a bigger dragon. Uh, let's go Kale on Dreadfang. Okay. Let's go another 19. <laughs> they have been coming in hot for you. No, that's there's no one on that one. And <laughs> don't worry, this one is not a dragon. <sighs> yeah. I will, uh, let's see. One brings the controller. <clears throat> Uh, if you want the cloak, though, then I really have no defense. So we will pass. Yeah, we'll blink for the cloak. Okay. Are you still I'm passing or are you thinking? No, I'm not oh, okay. comfortable anymore. Okay. Interesting. Probably got an anticipate. Or at least that's the bluff. <laughs> yep. Stun Celine forward. Mm hmm. Stun Vertigris forward. Mm hmm. Fast. Let's order with Pyro to move up two ranks. Yep. Fast. Stun Evan Scourge all the way up. Yep. Spend Brine forward. Vertigris falls. Torn back, get another move out of Pyro. Pass. Swing on Sakar. It wasn't a bluff. All right, so you got a uh, plus 10 for two? 11. 11. One dagger, plus five. Oh, you missed the one on the dagger. Just I saw the plus yep. five. Yep. All right. Uh, see if you can keep those sixes flowing. That would be enough. Oh, we're not that, gonna waste it. That, that's also enough. Yeah. Hey, 
figure not risking uh, it. It was it was worth the shot. You know, I've got enough dragons to oh, fill yeah. them in. Yeah. Well, uh, sorry, it's your go. Unless you're passing, I will pass again. Okay, let's swing on Sakar. Uh huh. Missed no. by one. Pass. Yeah, pass is good. Mistake. Oh well. Yeah, you pushed Vertigris past Celine. Yep. That's what it was. It's okay. Make it work. I don't think I'm beating initiative though. <laughs> Alright, let's start. Bilja shooting Rhea. Okay. No, come on. <laughs> so sad. No. I think we got to blank your cloak from the get go. Yeah. yeah. Smart move. Um. All right. We will swing on Evan Scourge. Going for two wounds. There's two. Going for two wounds. Um, second swing. Uh, let's just drop the bomb on Evan Scourge. Um, I will say no. Okay, I'll just make the roll. All right. Ah, oh, no. <laughs> I worked. Yeah. Vertigris up. Mm-hmm. Let's take two swings on Evan Scourge. You got it. There's a no. terrible roll. There's an even terrible roll. <laughs> Uh, we'll just straight up swing at Sakar. Yep. There's one. Yep. There's two. Oh, come on, with the double 13. <laughs> hey, you got the double 19s on initiative last time. Yeah, whatever. Uh, all right. Let's put out Rubika. <laughs> okay. Let's make you do a DC 15. <laughs> Roll a one. Hey, there's a 19. Oh, sure. <laughs> That's just untap teasing me. Um, we will go Wrath on Evan Scourge. Okay. Go. Drop out a Storm Chaser. Mm -hmm. We will go Wanderetch on Brian Fiend. Nope. Storm Chaser will order forward. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I should have done... I should have taken my actions differently. Uh, pass. Or, I move Rebecca. No. Yeah, yep. We'll see if Brian Fiend can uh, wound you. Yeah. Yes. He gets it. I'll do. Good games. Not really. Yeah, yeah I should have put no. out Owen so I could get to Portal Hole and bounce back. But need to uh, take a screenshot, aka picture with my phone, since I am not tech savvy. Yeah, Owen, Port Hole. Yeah, that definitely. All it does, all it does, is run me back and run me back and forth. Uh, I suppose. Yeah. You know, until I get. You know, it's like I'm, I'm doing. I shouldn't say I'm drawing badly. It's just. I mean, you were though. I mean, f turn one, you had three dead cards in hand. That's that's not how you win games. That's true. One piece of movement, and I would have been in your ranks. That's that's the thing. Uh, I think I'm. I'm bad. I. 
I think everybody noticed this one in my, in my match against Chris. I didn't run enough movement in this deck. Um, oh, sure. All my all my test draws were uh, misleading in the fact that my eight cards were enough. Sure. Um, yeah, I wasn't able to already watch that match. I wasn't able to watch that match, but I do know Zant yeah. Primus pretty much had the exact same problem with a very similar build. Uh, yeah. Rogue, Assassin with uh, Care Bear and in. Right. And, uh, yeah. Well, the thing with the thing with Care Bear is you run Magaline, you stun to the front, you on you you, you pop back, um, mm -hmm. and then you just you know all those dead cards you pitch. Uh, it's That's just... true. No, I liked I liked the Altus Cloak, but the, I mean the one of Negation is a perfect counter to this deck. I mean that it, it card really alone. Is. Well, Terra Shard would have uh, been too. I just didn't notice. <laughs> right. Um, yeah. So now I'm kicking myself about that first game. If I'd haloed first action, we'd still be playing. Oh, um, yeah. But no, it's like, you know, ill-gotten gains, triple baraz. Yeah. I have counters to the draw decks. You Honestly. gotta get them. Yeah. Um, you know, triple. I have triple Temple of Lore. Oh my gosh! Yeah. You know, Temple of Lore is my favorite target for Ebon Scourge with that fresh zero yes. skill. Yes. And that is why <laughs> Ebon Scourge was my first target, even though Shadow Blaze was uh, more of a threat. I did have Severed, uh, for what it's worth. I mean, I know you could have just dropped one more wound on him, but would have taken at least yeah. one more hit out of you. Could yeah. have Torrent, could have met, so who knows if I would have got uh, more dragons this turn or not, but I didn't have anybody to nah. go search out with. Nah, that's all, you needed, all you needed was what you had. I mean, yep. once once the tree walk happened, I was I was really hosed. Um, so that's that's good tech on on running the tree walk. Um, Thanks. I yeah, like that. that's uh, I really like that. I've experimented with different level twos. You know, pretty much have to yeah. have the wisp when you're trying to build ranks, and so that second yes. one it just comes down to: Do you want wrath for a little bit of aggression, or to go after uh -huh. like a gand weary in rank one? Do you want um, like the mourn jackal starting in rank four? Do you want surge? But I found right. Tree Walk to be the most impactful, and I'm sure it varies a little bit based on the deck. But no, because you know, I mean, in thinking about the game going in, I was like, all I need is Black Steel Daggers and Temple of Lore, and I just kill every dragon that stuns forward yep. until until I have enough of an army that I can stealth into your ranks, mm -hmm. or until I get my threatened kind of thing. So, you know, without the Tree Walk, I was willing on that first hand to have stunned myself to the front because oh, I was sure. like, I'll pop. I'll pop spent. I've got anticipate. I've got reconnaissance. You know, if I'd wanted to hold the reconnaissance instead of the assassinates, going into your rank turn two, spent would have been fine. Um, reconnaissance is such a good card. Just move in for free. Yes, and I love that it's level four, so I can occasionally surprise people by putting Wander Edge into their ranks. <laughs> or uh, Philia, even if you want. Uh, she loses her order because it's only true. your front rank. That's true. Um, but whereas in a he, worst because case... he suddenly amps up his stealth defense. That's true. Yeah. Um, so he's more of a more dangerous in the opposing, uh, in the opposing formation than. No, he definitely than, is. Uh, and Phil is. And that but, planer but... as well, three hit points. Yeah. Yeah. But either way, nice. that was uh, well played. Thank you. Uh, we can hop over to the giveaway as well if you have time. Uh, yeah. Awesome. So for those watching, if you're unfamiliar, we'll have Iceman here roll a d20. Whatever he rolls is what he gets, and if he doesn't want it, we'll add it to the Dragon's Horde. We'll do the same thing for a viewer right after, so if you're uh, watching and want to be entered into the giveaway, go ahead and chat now. If you can roll that d20, and let's see what comes up. Six or 19, that's the only only two choices, <laughs> right? Uh, right in the middle. Hey, it's a Worm's Egg, though. Not too many people have uh, pulled one of those. And it is a blue worm's egg. So one of okay. one of the better ones for sure. Level yes. seven unique. One of the react. two that gets played. Yeah, exactly. That and red, pretty much. Yep. After this character kills an opposing character with a melee strike, spend the egg to perform an additional melee strike, targeting a character in the rank behind the original target. What do you say, Iceman? Add it to the horde or send it your way? Um I know I have one or two. You can check and message me later as well. Um, you can send it my way. Okay. Sounds good. Uh, now we do have some people chatting in Discord. We see Zant, Gracchus, and Kinnerin. 
So we got three chatting, so we'll roll a d6. We'll say one, two is Ant. Three, four is Gracchus. Five, six is Kinnerin. Oh, come on. It just has to go to Gracchus. Gross. And he gets a treasure. What is the treasure going to be? There's some good ones in here. The last one, on the other hand, was a buckler. So some not so good ones as well. Knives of Betrayal. Probably, I mean, I, I didn't play back in the day, Iceman. Did this one see play back then? No. No? Okay. Uh, react, spend the knives. After this rogue hits with a melee strike, the target must succeed with a poison save DC 14, DC 20 if this rogue is an assassin or suffer an additional wound. It plus two attack, level four rogue item. Logan, the only thing you'd ever play it is if you were playing hardcore, I'm going to stealth in and I don't want to worry about equipping in the opposing formation. Oh, sure. But back then, you couldn't. Back when that item was written, you couldn't equip in the opposing formation because it wasn't oh, a stealth action. Sure. So, you know, nowadays we have Blade of Dark Tiding. Uh, we have um, uh, Norn Stinger. Yep. So the DC 14 isn't strong enough to kill opposing warlords. Yeah, and the 20 is kind of just a 50-50 chance at best a lot of the time. Yeah. So... Gracchus says it's a no bueno. Add it to the horde. He says Logan uses it to kill Medusa. And there is one Medusa. And is it uh, Eel? Or it's if you're or a seer, right? If you're wounded by a Logan with Knives of Betrayal, you die. Something like that, yeah. And it's one of those. I think it's Eel or Seer, but I could be yeah, wrong. I think it's Seer because he's the master of assassins. Right. So the okay. idea is that, that Logan was supposed to be part of the Assassin's Guild, betrayed him, they have animosity. Okay. Logan was yeah. the one guy who didn't participate in the assassin strike, I think. If I recall yeah, the no, storyline. No, he he like leads from... some band of free kingdoms that were like hunted down or something. I, I don't know for sure, but yeah, I think it's something like that. They do say it is Seer in chat. So yeah, that's it. Well, yeah. thank you to everybody who uh, watched the stream. Thank you to Zant for subbing and Gracchus for cheering the bits. If you're watching the VOD on YouTube, please be sure to like and subscribe and follow me on Twitch for more Warlord content. Stay tuned for round five.